All right, today we're going to review the Wood Memorial. Now, there's three horses that you're going to want to watch at the break. The number five horse, Morello, who was your favorite in the race at nine to five. He has all kinds of trouble at the break. It's left. Uh, the number three horse in the Klarovich colors, Chad Brown's early voting. He's going to break sharp and get loose on the early lead. And your eventual winner is the number one, Mo Donegal. With that said, let's watch the race. and it was a hesitant beginning for number five, Morello, who is last in the early going. Early voting is out for the early lead. AP Secrets on the outside, and down at the rail, it is a golden code. Studying there just a bit with Skippy Longstocking as they go around the clubhouse. Turn to his outside is Baris. Then it's a break of two and a half lengths to a long term who races in sixth. Mo Donegal is down at the rail in seventh. And Morello is the trailer in eighth as the three-year-old Colts head for the back stretch. The opening quarter was running 23 and four-fifth seconds. And it is early voting, setting the pace here and leading by a half length. AP Secret keeping up the pressure on the outside in second. And then it is Baris and Golden Code. The two of them are third and fourth. The two New York breads are third and fourth. Then two and a half lengths back to Skippy Longstocking. Mo Donegal is down at the rail. Long term is coming on through. And Morello continues to trail right now about seven lengths from the lead. The half was running 47 and three. And it is early voting on top as they go around the far turn. Early voting three quarters of a length. AP Secret is in second. Baris is next in third. Skippy Longstocking runs in fourth. And now Mo Donegal begins to pick it up. Mo Donegal is getting gaining ground towards the inside. Morello is now up to sixth, but with an awful lot to do as they hit the top of the stretch. Three quarters went in 111 and two. It is early voting, trying to take them wire to wire here. Early voting in front. Mo Donegal comes on through down on the inside to grab second. It is early voting in front. A challenge here from Mo Donegal. Early voting, trying to hold on with a 16th of the finish. Mo Donegal bearing down on the outside. It's Mo Donegal and early voting, and it is Mo Donegal. Mo Donegal won the Remsen here as a two-year-old, and he comes back to win today's 97th running of the Wood Memorial. All right, you're going to see the number five horse, Morello, here blow the start. He actually loses a shoe, and Steve Asmussen says he come out of this race with a foot issue. Uh, so poor start there, cost the favorite, Morello the race. Uh, Mo Donegal, who's usually a slow starter, um, you know, didn't break quick either. The horse who broke really good is the speedy early voting. He had a great start. Uh, Jose Ortiz is able to get him to establish a loose lead going into the first turn. All right, down the back stretch here, and you see Mo Donegal making this winning move. He's going to split horses. Instead of going outside the six, Rosario is just going to stay inside, save the ground, and hope to get a split. And he is going to get a split through the lane as AP Secret, the gray, can't keep him down. He, he's going to split. He's going to come outside of early voting and wear him down in the stretch. Um, and early voting run a really game race here, but Modonigal's just too powerful a finisher. He went right here. It's looking a little bit dicey, but Rosario does a nice job just outrunning this AP Secret and then gradually getting to the outside, getting his split. That was all he needed. Uh, Modonigal obviously won the Remsen at a mile and an eighth over this track, defeating um, Zandon. So he, he had experience at the track and distance and just too much for early voting here. Look at the difference in the amount of dirt. Early voting obviously being on the lead is clean, whereas Modonigal just had a tremendous amount of kickback on him. Uh, but really, without Rosario going to the whip, he just wears him down under a hand ride in fast time to 147 and four for a mile and an eight. So very fast time. Now, early voting is going to skip the Kentucky Derby. He's going to go to the Preakness. That's Chad Brown and Clarovich Stables. So I believe Clarovich Stables is background. I, I think he's from that Baltimore, Maryland area. Grew up in Baltimore, so the Preakness probably an important race for him. And I know he's won it before with cloud computing. You have to think early voting's got a better shot in the Preakness than the Derby. So logically, you could see 
why they decided to skip the Derby and wait for the Preakness. But Mo Donegal is the one horse out of the Wood Memorial who will be going to the Kentucky Derby. And you see his past performances right here. Uh, third in his debut, beat Zandon by a nose in the Remsen. And then in the Holy Bowl, which we're going to watch, he was third, beating four and a half. You see slow break, it said. I just wanted to show you the comments. Step slow, start. Off step slow. Bumped break. Slow break. And in the wood, the only horse that Mo Donegal out broke was uh, obviously the, the favorite, Morello, who had a lot of trouble at the gate and had the foot issue. So uh, the, the thing about Mo Donegal, he's a chronically slow breaker, which is going to put him behind a lot of horses in the Kentucky Derby, but he, he does want to go a mile and a quarter. Anyway, we're going to take a look at this Holy Bowl last time. It was won by eventual Florida Derby winner, White Abario. All right, you see the field here for the Holy Bowl Stakes. Mo Donegal was actually 8-5 to five in this race. This was his three-year-old debut. He's breaking from post two. Simplification from post four. Tis the Bomb, the horse that won the big uh, Jeff Ruby Stakes at uh, Turfway Park on the Tapita, post six. And White Abario, the winner of this race and the winner of the Florida Derby, breaking from post eight. I'll let you watch. Racing in the Holy Bull, and simplification was off slow. From the rail, Galt comes out firing. The gray white Abario working over from the high draw. They land one, two from Cajun's Magic, who's down at the inside, while third up on the outside, Giant Game striding forward into fourth ahead of race favorite Mo Donegal. Then back mid flight for Tiz the Bomb. He's three wide at this stage. Outside of him in simplification, who blew the start. Second last is Eloquist, and the trailer is Spin Wheel. Field separated by eight lengths as they complete an opening quarter behind Galt, who settled in up front. He leads three parts of a length. White Abario flanks him and races from second. Two and a half clear of Giant Game, who's now up into third. At the rail, Cajun's Magic is there fourth as Mo Donegal angles to the clear. Tis the Bomb is in the clear already, outside of him in simplification. Eloquist is toward the rail and still held up at the back is spin wheeled. The quarter time was 23 and four. They race to the half mile point. It's still Galt in front. He leads a half a length after a 47 and one half mile. From the outside, White Abario's had a good trip. He's racing in second. Cajun's Magic is together with Giant Game third and fourth. Up to the outside simplification has Mo Donegal bottled up. Three back to Spin Wheel who gets started outside of Tiz the Bomb. Eloquist drops to last as they round the far turn. They race to the first finish line here with White Abario now even with Galt at the 5 16 From the outside, simplification is next. Giant Game not firing his fastball today. Mo Donegal's going to need to do a ton better than that. He's warming to the town but he's six lengths off the lead, and that lead is held by White Abario. Off the turn on the stretch drive, White Abario working with the short stretch. He's three on top. Simplification is running a huge race. He's up on the outside trying to get into second, but the Holy Bull goes to White Abario with authority. He wins by five in the end. Close then for second. Mo Donegal or Simplification. Galt is fourth. All right, the important thing I want to note about this race, here's Mo Donegal, the two. Here's Tiz the Bomb, the six. And when a horse likes the kickback, is handling the kickback, they'll have their head down. And so you kind of look at head carriage. That is how a horse is supposed to carry his head when they're taking dirt. It's, a, it's what you want to see. It's a good sign. The high head carriage, which you see here with Tiz the Bomb, generally not a good sign. Pay attention to the two. Uh. Pay attention to the two as we slow it down here. You see kind of like a climbing action with Tiz the Bomb and the head carriage high. So the green cap, there's Mo Donegal, and Tiz the Bomb is in the white cap just behind him. So pay attention to where their two heads are. You see the high head carriage there on Tiz the Bomb where Mo Donegal is you know, just driving through the dirt. All right, and the final thing to note about this race is this was a short stretch race at uh, Gulfstream, so it was run to the first finish line. Uh, so Mo Donegal in his comeback race here had less stretch to work with. He looked like he was, you know, might not even, you know, do better than fourth, but he really kicks it in gear here very late, and you see him doing his best running literally right under the line. So the... the Right here, they're inside the 16th. They're they're coming to this first finish line, and Mo Donegal. Right now, it looks like 
you know, it looks like he might be fourth or fifth, but he's really going to get in gear here. And he does finish best of all, just missing simplification for second. So that's Mo Donegal. He's going to want every yard of the mile and a quarter distance. He's a chronic slow breaker. He's going to find himself in a lot of traffic. He's going to take a lot of dirt, uh, but he can handle that, and he'll come running through the stretch. How big of a piece he could get, that remains to be seen, but he's a horse that is definitely a factor in exotic wagers. I think you got to have him underneath on your ticket. If they go too fast early, a horse like Modonical could get a good piece late. 